One, I'm uh, drinking wine tonight, having a little wine. I'm not like sloshed or anything. Would I lie? One thing you're seeing a lot of in the on Twitter, especially and in the media, are, are these claims that Tucker Carlson is lying. Uh, here we go. Here's a perfect example. Jake Tapper is trying to gaslight his audience into believing that Fox News tried to pretend the riots at the Capitol January 6th didn't happen. What? Like, so Jake Tapper's claiming that Tucker Carlson is trying to get all of us rubes, all of us idiots, to think that the January 6th riots didn't even happen. Like, what? What? Like, that's gaslighting on a whole new level. And I love who who he's case, flanked uh, by here. Adam Kinzinger, Adam Pissy Pants Kinzinger, a known, you know, pathological liar. And uh, Michael Fanone, fucking scumbag, gangster, uh, capital police officer. I have nothing but contempt for that man. I, I, I think that I have a pretty good detector for bullshit and scumbags. And he is one. I love how, in, <laughs> look at this interview. He's wearing like a turtleneck. You see that? He's wearing like a turtleneck, so you can't see his neck tattoos. Dude is just trashy. He's like a, a meth drug addict or drug dealer that somehow became an officer. But I, I don't trust anything the guy says. I don't trust anything either of these three assholes have to say. That's uh, probably smart because he claims that Tucker Carlson wants us to think that the riots didn't even happen, which is not what the, any of this is about, right? This is about, we know the riots happened. I have said, uh, let me go full screen here for a minute so I can be very sincere. I have always said that the riots were bad. When they happened, I watched them. I didn't like it. I got a bad feeling in my stomach. I didn't like any of it. But even at the time, I remember I remember watching NBC or something at the time, and the reporter was like, well, it's mostly peaceful, which I thought was funny. I'm like, oh, that's true. There were 20,000 people at the, uh, at the Capitol on January 6th. Of those 20,000, I want to say it was around four or 500 that were involved in the scuffles with the police. I don't know if it was even actually that many. Most of the people that were going into the Capitol were just walking around and stuff. Like they weren't, they were taking pictures, they were blog, you know, they were vlogging, streaming, whatever. They weren't actually like doing anything else. Even the shaman, the <laughs> the QAnon shaman or whatever, who they, you know, portrayed as like this sort of leader of it all, this insurrection, dangerous, uh, violent insurrection. Uh, that guy didn't do anything. Like, and now we know because of Tucker that they they let him in. They escorted him. Then he went into the main hall there. He uh, uh, the main floor of Congress. He uh, made a speech and he and a prayer and he said thank you to the Capitol officers for letting us in and for escorting us. <laughs> like, and it's so funny to me that we keep hearing from these people that Tucker Carlson cherry picked video footage and he's cherry picking it. They literally, that's what they've done the whole time. They cherry pick footage. People are just so, there's, they're so, I, I, I guess it's just that they're making the money to do, to say it and they have no other choice. I don't know what else to say about this. Just, all right, let, let's watch it. Michael Fanone and Adam Kinzinger, thank you. And, and, uh, you know, I know it probably is pretty upsetting personally to have been there. And in your case, uh, officer Fanone to have been physically harmed severely and see this entire presentation pretending that this didn't happen. Uh, and I want you to know, we see you. Nobody did we that. We know it happened. Uh, and I don't know what to say about this, except no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know what to say about this. I'm so sorry, Michael Fanone. Oh. <laughs> Jake Tapper, I'm so I love police officers so much. I love them. I'm so sorry, Michael Fanone. <laughs> You're so hurt. What the fuck? Like, CNN perpetuated the lie that Michael Brown had his hands up. You know what happened after that? You know what happened after that? There were mass riots. People died. Police were injured by the thousands. Police were murdered by BLM supporters who were getting revenge. Like, in, in Dallas. It's on video. Like, 
And this is how they... It's so Orwellian. And it's so transparent what they're doing. And I know you all see it, but I have to describe it. So all they're doing is, is just they're covering their own tracks by one and not... They, it's like I talked about in my video today. You always hear about Charlottesville. You always hear about January 6th, and you always will. They're going to use it as long as they possibly can. But you don't hear about the Trump supporters that were uh, killed, you know, just killed on the street during BLM Antifa riots during the course of Trump's administration. There were several. Uh, you never hear about that. You don't hear about, like, the uh, security guard, and I can't remember his name. I feel bad. The, the black security guard. Uh, that was killed during BLM riots. You don't hear about the uh, black Trump supporter who was known for standing out in the street holding a MAGA sign who was shot, gunned down the street. You don't hear about that. They don't remind you about that because they incited it. They can't. You don't hear. They don't remind you about the ICE facility attacks that AOC incited by calling them concentration camps. They don't tell you like the uh, freaking straight up militaristic firebomb attacks on police training centers in Atlanta that you, the, the media calls them protesters and activists. Like they just, they gaslight us so hard.